uh, Lake Michigan's over here on our left, and, and on our right we have uh, this inland pond um, that's risen quite a bit this year due to the high water levels. Uh, piping, this is one of the best piping plover nesting habitats that we have here at Sleeping Bear Dunes and in, actually in the entire Great Lakes. The Great Lakes piping plover is kind of a flagship species for this entire ecosystem. And by protecting the Great Lakes piping plover and its habitat, you're really protecting the Great Lakes dunes ecosystem as a whole. habitat that they utilize has been greatly diminished by the high water. The high water levels uh, put them in danger uh, for a number of reasons like washouts and putting them close to predators. Not, not this expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, you know, until what, three? The water has shifted or changed or the water levels have rise and now they're in danger of being flood out, which is uh It's vital that the public respects those boundaries and stays out of the piping plover habitat nesting area because the impact that humans and especially dogs have on plovers can be metabolically taxing on the plovers. Keeping out of the plover habitat is absolutely paramount to the success of the plover population here at Sleeping Bear Dunes. They are an absolutely phenomenal species. They represent so many great things about the Great Lakes and conservation and how people have come together.